Researchers at the University of California, San Diego exposed cells to a powerful chemical mutagen and described in a paper in the May 19, 2006 issue of Science a web of interrelated responses triggered by DNA damage that the cells use to remain healthy. By its very nature, DNA is a vulnerable molecule. This genetic material within cells of higher organisms is under constant assault from environmental toxins and radiation. DNA damage is a basic physiological process in the cell that a lot of scientists like to study because it's important to a number of congenital diseases. It's at the root of cancer and it's, um, it's central to how the cell responds to its environment and different toxins in the environment. It's important to point out that many of the genes that people associate with cancer in the popular media, for good reason, are in fact DNA repair genes. Uh, a very good example is the BRCA1 and 2 genes, uh, what are some commonly called BRCA1 and BRCA2. Uh, behind breast cancer, those are in fact involved in the DNA repair process. On the flip side of the coin, when you get cancer and you go in for chemotherapy, the way chemotherapy works is precisely by damaging DNA um, of cancer cells. So in a sense, the very same principle that led to the cancer in the first place is being used to cure it. Distinct processes in the cell, including DNA repair, are very well described. However, we don't yet understand how all the many individual pieces fit together and function as a system. It's important in the case of DNA repair because thousands of times a day, environmental toxins and radiation chip and break our DNA. All of our cells need to sense that damage and respond. So if you think about the cell as a river of information flow, as it senses things in its environment or that are occurring inside the cell, it wants to then transmit that information through the river to some downstream effect uh, or response the cell will, will invoke. So the upstream effect in this case is damage to the DNA. Some damage occurs that's sensed upstream. And then the idea is through a combination of, of signaling mechanisms, what are called signaling mechanisms in the cell, it wants to transmit that information through this river to some downstream effectors. Um, one of the layers that happens downstream that's, that's very um, popularized these days is the transcriptional layer. So there's a series of proteins called transcription factors which receive the information at the end of the river uh, or in the middle of the river, I suppose. And, and um, they're activated and when a transcription factor becomes activated, it's then responsible for turning on or off a whole battery of genes. The cell contains a few hundred to a few thousand transcription factors, depending on the species and cell type. Um, in our work, we've identified about 30 of those, which appear to be important for DNA damage response. And we've begun to assemble a model uh, around those factors, both which incorporates both some of the signaling events upstream of those factors, as well as the genes activated by each of those factors immediately downstream. Looking at a, or assembling a model with 30 factors and all of their upstream and downstream effects is a fairly ambitious goal. And it's one that's uh, really made possible by this new idea called systems biology. The idea that we can systematically interrogate all of the interactions of a protein uh, in a week-long, say, experiment. What you quickly realize is, of course, this isn't just a model of DNA repair, but this is a model that's ultimately tying many, if not most, of the functions in the cell together. The big advance is having the blueprint or the wiring diagram to begin with. Now that we have a model that's relatively comprehensive, or at least a step in that direction, we, we can begin to identify what are the problems, what are the short-circuited wires, or what are the broken wires. Once we've identified those, then of course you'd want to go in uh, with targeted therapies against those, um, those components um, that are broken.